Hello, I'm Atuba George, and, and you see, Jesus, and what, the things I've been sharing with you all week now, Jesus is so concerned about the world getting to know that God loves you. It's beyond you. See, this is not about how you feel. This is God expressing his love to you so everyone will know. Now, I told you yesterday, when you get to that place of challenge, it doesn't matter what that challenge is. Remember that the Father loves you. And whatever you're going to ask him, he would give you. Now, how does he respond to you? The Holy Spirit will give you instructions on what to do. Now, you remember Jesus when, when he got to the sea? seashore now the disciples had already gone and there was no boat now he needed to be at the other side now that would have been you know a disadvantage situation see he would have thought okay well let me just go home but when he got there i know what he did he asked the father father what what, what do i do right now and then the lord spoke to him and said you can walk on the water now he believed the father see now that's one thing you must take note of. Jesus believed in God the same way he expects us to believe in God. Now don't just take over because he was Jesus so he just did everything. No, even Jesus had faith. Praise God. How do, you, how do you know he had faith? Because the Father spoke to him. The word of the Lord came to him like the word of the Lord comes to us today. Everything Jesus did was in response to the word of the Lord that came to him. Now you need to understand that. So when Jesus prayed in John chapter 17 that the, the, that the world may know that God loves us as God loved him. So Jesus got to the sea and the Father said, you can walk on the water. Now he began to walk on the water. Now guess what? They got to the disciples. And Peter looked at Jesus and said, Master, if you are the one, tell me to walk on the water. And Jesus didn't say, oh, Peter... You know I'm too special to God as I'm walking on the water. This is not for everybody. No. Jesus said, wait, I, you know, sometimes I just imagine, you know, sometimes just, just imagine if you were right there when these things happened. Praise God. Hey, hey, Jesus just said, come. No drama. No long sermon. Peter said, if you are the one, ask me to come. And Jesus said, come. Jesus didn't do, okay, Peter, hold on. I send the wind to congeal the water for you. <laughs> he just said, come. Now, what was it about? If you will believe my words, you will step out of that boat. And Peter believed in the words of Jesus. And he stepped out of the boat and he began to walk on the water. Now, it's the same thing in your life. Whatever situation you find yourself in. I remember several years ago this was in 1999 that's how i found myself on a sick bed you know i was lying down sick my, my whole body was weak and, and i've been i've been sick for 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 days now and i got tired of that sickness i said lord i don't understand what's going on why am i sick your word tells me something different and i'm exper experiencing something different and and and, and i heard that voice you see it, it wasn't a loud voice it was my son no just just a voice inside of your heart see and i heard that voice it said if you you have been declaring you are healed but you're still behaving sick and I'm like how and he said why are you still lying down i thought to myself whoa that's the mistake i've been making all these while guess what I stood up from that sick bed and that's how I became healed. Praise God. You know that, that without a drug and that's how I became healed. Now, how did I become healed? It's not because I just got up from the sick bed. It's because I heard that voice. See, I heard his word. Now, that's what you should look out for in every storm in your face in life. Every, and that's what the devil is after in your life. He wants, he doesn't want you to hear that voice. So you see, he causes worry to fill your mind. So you don't even think of hearing that voice. But let me tell you the truth. Even if you are being thrown from a 20-story building, you have, I mean, they have left you already falling down. If you can just hear that voice, praise God, and tell, and he will tell you, look up to me. And you look up to him. I'm telling you, you will, you, after all, he said he will give his angels charge over us. Praise God. What's my, what, what you're concerned about, what you, you should be concerned about is when he speaks, 
you should be able to hear him. No matter the storm in your life. And that's what I'm praying for you right now. It doesn't matter what you're facing. I pray that that voice will come true to you. And I pray that your heart will be calm. And that you will hear him. And whatever you hear him say to you. Hear me. Obey him. The moment you obey him, you will see the peace that will come. You will see the miracle that will come. In every storm, look for his voice. Praise God. I've got to stop here. Now, I've shared this thing with you. Get the old videos. Watch them. And, and let these things inspire your heart. Praise God. Because you know what? A great weekend is ahead of you. Praise God. Have the best weekend ever. Until next week, this is Atuba George. Bye-bye.